Hey guys, Ken Ross here and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential ex expenses. And boy do I have yet another update on one of my favorite subjects and that's 5G. Last time I talked a little bit about the big game and how 5G is signaling this big push for 5G in your home. Well, 5G is also signaling the end of an era, right? That era is 3G technology, right? I don't know if you've been looking at this, I don't know if you've been following it, but it's pretty big news around the different news channels and news outlets. I'm actually gonna put a couple of articles in the description here for you to check out and read, but basically it goes like this. 3G has been around for you know, quite some time since wireless technology came out. Everybody remembers the first original iPhone, right? The original iPhone featured 3G. It was one of these revolutionary products, right? It, it changed the way we communicated, changed the speed in which we could communicate. It signaled the start of the smartphone era, right? Well, the end of 3G and that technology is being signaled by the coming in of 5G. And you may think, well, why does that matter to me? I have the latest iPhone or I have uh, an Android phone. I have a, a decent smartphone. Well, do you have a life alert? Do you have a security system? What about an older vehicle? All of these things could have or potentially have 3G technology in it and rely on the 3G infrastructure. And why is that so important if it goes away? Well, if it goes away, then there goes your products, right? A lot of these companies that have 3G networks or rely heavily on 3G networks haven't had to worry much about there being congestion or network unreliability. Well, now the network is completely gone. What does that mean? That means these companies that control these devices have to roll out updates and have been notifying customers, hey, 3G is going away, which signals an end of an era, right, of telecommunications, and you must be upgraded. You're forced to upgrade, right? This isn't something that you get to decide, oh, well, maybe I'll just keep this technology. No, you're being forced to upgrade. And that is also kind of what they're trying to do with the signaling of 5G in the, in, in the first place, right? Telecommunications companies want you to upgrade to 5G so badly, they're willing to give you free phones. They're willing to put everything out on the line to show you this is the most reliable network of its kind and it's going to signal all of these changes. But really, what does that mean? Well, it means a lot of things to me personally, and it means a lot of things to, to my clients and businesses especially, because businesses can easily overpay by over-investing in something like 5G. And when 3G actually rolled out, right, when 3G was first around, that's exactly what happened. A lot of folks bought into the new iPhone because they really needed it or really thought they needed it. They wanted something that was so revolutionary and so industry-breaking that they bought into it, right? Don't overinvest. Don't over exaggerate the 5G evolution that's coming out and what that really signals. Make sure you understand and you know, hey, don't force yourself to upgrade because all these things are going away and, and, and it's signaling all these things. Now, that's what I have today. I'd, I'd love to hear your comments about what you really think the future of telecommunications is. I mean, I've, I've spent a lot of time kind of giving you these updates on 5G only to show you that these are the trends, right? These are things that are important for you to understand as they come out and mature, that 5G isn't really all the way cooked yet. It's not done, right? The signaling of the end of 3G is just part of the story. There's more to this story and I'll be giving more updates as time goes along, but you should really understand and pay attention to what this means for you, for you and for your business. And so with that, love to hear what your thoughts are below in the comment section. Please put them in the comment section below. I'd love to have a discussion with you. I'd love to talk about it and have a dialogue. I'd also love to hear about what are some topics you'd like me to follow uh, next. I love following 5G. It's something that I think is very interesting to me, especially given the climate, like I said before, and what it's actually doing to telecommunications and internet in general. I think um, it's always it's always good to to see innovation.
in its in its infancy as it's coming up coming up it's it's kind of like amazon right when amazon first started everybody thought oh it's just a bookstore and what you know what can it what can i get into as far as books right i, I can't get that excited well now everybody's excited about amazon what about 5g it's the same thing so anyway Love to hear your thoughts, like I said. Would love it if you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I have plenty of content here available for you. You can come check out. Go check out some of my previous videos. Uh, please like and subscribe, like I said. Tell your friends about this channel. Let them know that there's a guy in business who really likes to, to talk about different things and wants your feedback as far as what are some things that I can talk about and, and have a discussion about and we can have an information exchange. That's why this channel exists. That's what I want to do. I want to be able to bring things to you, insightful things, with really no filter. It's it's not something I'm I'm paid to do. It's not something I I, I you know get it incentivized to talk about. These are things that are interesting to me that I really think could interest you and, and, and ultimately interest the, the community if we talk about them. So that's why I want to do this. Um, this channel, that's why I have this channel. That's why I want to do this. So please, please do that. Please tell your friends, let them know about me and visit my website. I am Ken And until next time, I'll see you around.